road sign on Interstate 5, San Diego, California, by Robert Peake. They are holding hands, or rather, their silhouettes are joined at the arms like a chain-link fence. Their bodies lean forward, italicised. They are running. The man is pulling the woman. The woman is pulling what must be her child, and the child is lifted by the speed off her feet. It is the same type of sign that might contain the antlered shape of a generic black buck or tell drivers that the road could be slippery when wet. It is a warning sign. It says, watch out for this. Every time I pass, I scan both sides of the freeway, expecting to see a family of three gathering up loose belongings, timing the cars, preparing to run across eight lanes of high-speed traffic. I have never seen them, this desperate family. I only know their shadows, how they tilt toward the bright yellow space in front of them, scrambling to reach the outlined edge of the thin metal sign. I have never wanted anything this much for myself, let alone to pull those closest to me into flight. There is so much I could say about growing up on the border of Mexico. It is not the corrugated fence, or even the river of sewage that defines the scar that joins one world to the next, but a 100-foot width of sun-softened asphalt streaming with commuter traffic day and night. The man is pulling the woman. The woman is pulling her airborne child, whose pigtails flail back. On the other side is the ocean, salt marsh, and a beach that stretches north into the source of the wind. They are holding hands and smelling the salt in the air. At night, their pupils contract as the headlights expand. What begins like a distant starlight grows to a spotlight, a floodlight, a wash of whiteness and engines made of wind. Then reddened like coals, like dying suns, the lights recede. A river of cherry redness, a syrup of tail lights. The man is pulling the woman, is pulling the child, who rises as though winged in a blaze of light. This poem was first published in Rattle. Uh, edition number 30 in winter 2008 and it got an honourable mention in the Rattle Poetry Prize.